okay we're back in training we've shaved our hair and this is part five of bye eye now people still my head didn't realize i didn't have it plugged in so this is us now laying i say fuck them people say that i'm just maybe a a crazy old man and if you think about it maybe they're right maybe i am just a crazy old man but you know something it isn't what people think andre in boxing it's about what you know what you know in your gut what you know in your heart and i know in my heart <laughs> you got what it takes and i know in your heart you know you got what it takes when you come right down to it all that matters is heart doing well yeah we haven't messed up yet. There we go. <laughs> Not bad though. Not bad. Well, this could be a major hurdle to overcome for Andre Bishop. Look at this replay. I believe this is where he hurts that Ooh. right hand. Okay. All right, kid. How you doing? Oh yes, my right hand. My right hands, bro. Are yeah. you sure? Oh yeah. What do you want to do? He's my left. <laughs> it's all about heart, kid. It's all about heart. And a good stiff left jab. Let's have it. Here's what you should be looking for here at the start of round number two. How much is Andre Bishop using that right hand because it appeared that he severely injured it if not broke it there in that first round well one of the things he has to do joe is make sure that nobody other than us knows that he hurt that hand he's got to go out there and not show his opponent that that's bothering him use the left hand maybe every once in a while fake like you're going to throw the right hand so your opponent doesn't know doesn't take advantage of that fact yeah and you can see Andre Bishop in pain after throwing that right hand. That's a non-factor against Belcher Johnson. And Andre Bishop now appears hey, reluctant to throw that right hand. Able to get rid of that one. He's had so much success throughout his career as Come Andre on. Bishop, and the right hand's been a big part of it. Let go, man. Intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Oh, hands up, hands up. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. Able to land the jab. Bishop showcasing one of the best weapons you can have, especially early on in a fight, to set the tone, and that is the jab. Yeah, and he's shown that it does more than just set up other punches and, you know, just, you know, snap your head back. It just drops everything. You know, it just throws the other guy's rhythm off, and that's what he's doing a good job of. Scored well with that right hand at Meldrick Johnson. I'm trying not to use my right, but... Come on, come on. A little <coughs> head hunting with the left. Oh, God. Sorry about the cough, guys. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. Just knifing up with that uppercut by Melvin Johnson. Not doing well. Johnson. And that's the end of round two. Not doing well. Good action throughout. We'll see if it keeps up in this round of what has been a very even fight. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. hit right there but he also gave one solid effort by meldrick johnson this is one of the most impressive gutsy displays we've ever seen out of andre bishop it is absolutely certain to me now that he hurt that right hand he's completely a one-armed fighter right now just utilizing that left against meldrick johnson come on a solid left hand by johnson Good work on the outside from him. And that was set up by his inside Place fighting earlier. The place where, quite well, honestly, I this is a lot harder, man. Long, fighting with one hand. He's getting the privilege. He's getting the luxury of being able to stay outside a little bit. Bishop showing Ooh. that walking that stick right now, utilizing the jab. He's 
committed to that left hand and it's working out. It is, isn't it? Every, not every perfect line, shot, but one. good ooh. work by Meldrick Johnson. Oh, and he's going to the body well. Finish with the hook. Oh, a good right hand by Johnson. Took a shot. We are trying. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counter punching. Nice. There's another left hand from him. Oh, man. Bishop went out there in that last round and just executed his game plan beautifully. He won it with ease. Yeah, he not only has skills, so that's what I like about him. We have a lot of guys that have speed, they have power, but he fundamentally puts it together. To the head he goes with a left hand. Come on. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to chance. start to chuck go, something back go. at him a little. Punch, oh, a nice two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. Andre Bishop, he's been working hard on that jab, has Bishop, and here he's putting it to good use. What a great job. He gave one right back Come on. in return. Nice work by Meldrick Johnson. 90 seconds to go in round number four. A crushing two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. And there's the left hand working well for him again. Lands flush with the two punch combo by Andre Bishop. I'm trying not to use the stick to uh, use my punches. That's why I'm not throwing hooks around. Ooh. Left to the body. Nice block by Johnson. A little something of his own. Blocks a shot, brings back the uppercut. Cover up, cover up! Nice strike after oh. catching one by Meldrick Johnson. Carissi's game plan being executed perfectly by Andre Bishop in that last round. He has a lot of momentum. Yeah, now when he gets back to the corner, of course, Gus only has to tell him, keep doing what you're doing. But uh -huh. a guy like Gus, he'll remind him, hey, it starts with the jab, always fundamentals. Andre Bishop will need to do more of that. Bishop is very conscious of the fact that he does not want to get tagged hard. He blocked well there. And now he scores well with a straight right. And another left hand lands for Andre Bishop. Really solid left hand by Andre Bishop. That's exactly what his corner wants him to do. Well, this is what pro fighters have to do. Find a way to fight through the pain. But if I'm Gus Carisi in that corner of Andre Bishop, I tell him to abandon the right hand and go out there and win it with your left. A headshot blocked. I am Bishop's winning it with my left. With aggression and that brawling style has got him in control of these middle rounds. Yeah, he's gotten his opponent right where he wants. He's gotten his opponent confused, frustrating. He's fighting the wrong fight. He's fighting his fight. Piercing jab by Andre Bishop. Bishop's doing well here with that two punch combination. Comes back with the left hand again. And oh, what a I call throw these hooks. There you Johnson. go. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Andre Bishop. Use the rim. Forceful uppercut by Meldrick Johnson. Andre Bishop's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. You know, there's a lot to like with Andre Bishop, but right now, I don't like the way he looks in terms of his conditioning. No, he looks like he's slowing down a little bit, and you got to wonder if it's a little mental, too. He got a little discouraged 
that his opponent is still there. As this fight Hold on, what is my left hook? Is it is it X or A? X and A and left hook. Left hook is A, right. And left right hook is Right, that makes more sense. I've been using X all this time. This is impressive stuff. A well targeted hook landed by Andre Bishop. No wonder I've not been doing well. The way he went up top that time with the hook. Andre Bishop's taking his man lightly because he is up on the scorecards, but you can see that he is being pressured and pushed. You know, he's in there with a real solid guy. Come on. I don't think he's taking him lightly. It's just that he's in there That's in the a kind bit of better. waters he's never been before. Deep waters. And he's swimming harder than he's ever had to swim before. That's better. Look at that. Good left hand by Andre Bishop. That's miles better now. Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. That's a big flush punch landing on Andre Bishop. This is not the first time that Andre Bishop has been brought to this neighborhood. He has been shaken. Now nah, we, he will we know did what to that. Do. We lived. We lived through this, son. Good job with Oof. another left hand. Johnson's the victim of a power Oh, man. Up. That makes more sense to Short why I've not been doing right big, hand. big hands on the left. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the wisps, the old great Willie Peck. Made him miss, made him pay. And that's some fine work right there by Andre Bishop. Johnson's inability to get away from his opponent's left hand is so evident. And it's going to stay that way if he doesn't change something. He needs to move the other direction, away from that. Come on. At this point, Andre Bishop just your left is hand is harsh. Yeah, they have that choice. They can go into the prevent defense and coast home, or they know the business, and Gus knows the business. They want to be an attraction. He could say, go out there and finish. Make people talk about you when they're leaving this arena. Doubles up the jab to the head. And he's we were doing well then. Nice work, the left hand to the head. Hey, you got some of that too. Let's go. Ooh. Oh, he turns it over right into a Come hook. On. And now another left. Good plus right. shot by Andre Bishop. Johnson's hurt by a superb Come hook on. to the head. Comes across with a hook up top. A well placed overhand right. Bishop's jab can do so much there. He used it well that time. He's committed to that left hand and it's working out. Two rank me are. You know, really committed to this left hand. I'm trying to get away from that headshot with the block. One, two jabs up top. And he ties up on the inside. Bombs away with a hook by Andre Bishop. Come on, man. A well placed left hand up top. Gotta move your Johnson's head. gone into a defensive shell, but that shell has cracks in it. Yeah, it does. And the reason why it's getting cracked is because his opponent is confident that with those earmuffs on, you know, going into that peekable defense that he is, he knows he's handcuffed. So he's putting together three, four, oh, five I proper clock in there. He would only throw one or two, worried something's going to mm -hmm. come back. Final round for Andre Bishop in a fight that's really been a walk through the park with how supremely skilled he is. Nice solid left hand scored by Andre Bishop. Man, this has gone around. Johnson's cheek is cut. Oh, that's a big Here we go. Left hand.
We are doing well here. Yeah. Come on, boy. I wonder who shouted, come on, baby, because I don't think we have a go. Oh, my God. Teddy, he goes down, and he was Boom, he puts his hands like down, and he when gets he cracked. Be, and he paid a price. Three, four, five, so now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? Ooh. So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught. Have good habits, have good fundamentals been put there. You're gonna find out right now. He needs them right now. Come on. Come on, motherfucker. There's another Oof. left hand from him. Come on. Come on, we've got 10 seconds. Can we knock him down? Could this go the distance? And he digs in with the jab, cutting down the That went there. the distance. That Who wins? Performance tonight. Yeah, this is one you would think there's no drama in the reading of the scorecards. Let's hear those scorecards and send it up to the ring. Oosh, with one hand. Isaac, what do you think of Andre Bishop as a challenger? I think you're an idiot for asking me that question. You get paid to do this? It's your first show? Oh. Challenger. I think it'll be a challenge not to kill Andre Bishop. Little Andre can't even throw a punch without breaking his hand. Those were Isaac Frost's words just a few short months ago after Andre Bishop apparently hurt his hand in a fight right here on ESPN. After only yeah, taking a that. short break to let the hand mend, Andre Bishop back in action tonight against heavyweight contender Reggie Stewart. Reggie Many Stewart. are interested to see if the injury will have lingering effects on Bishop in what should be a very entertaining heavyweight matchup. Let's, Let's have go it. back ringside to Joe and Teddy. Boardwalk Hall here in Atlantic City, the next stop for the heavyweight career of one Andre Bishop. Feels good. Feels real good. Good. Because you gotta knock this guy out with him. It's time to show the world that Andre Damn. Bishop is as good as new. Andre Bishop's showing you that intensity that so many of the very best will display during a ring walk. Totally focused. We do look focused. Let's get into it. So the first round of this fight for Andre Bishop against Reggie Stewart. Of course, the first moment since that broken right hand he suffered against Meldrick Johnson. So everybody will want to see how useful Bishop is with that right hand. For those of you who question Andre Bishop's broken right hand, Here's a good example of how he feels about it. He's throwing it. And just grabbing on to his opponent. And now that backhand, the straight left hand, scores well for him. Whoa, ha, ha. great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. You gotta love the work. I know I am. Bishop. Stewart scouting report is an easy one to read. Three letters, J-A-B. Yes, sir. And that's exactly what he's doing. He's jabbing in his way, and I don't mean talking. Yeah, I mean throwing that stiff lead hand out into his opponent's face all night long. Scored well with that straight left. Did you see that? Yeah, I just saw that. He just caught me straight in the face. Expected. His opponent usually not a quick starter. Now this is like a microcosm of his life. He's been down outside the ring before and has gotten up too. And that will serve him because he has survived very difficult things outside the ring. And he is thinking of that right now, believe me. Hey, hey, let's go! He's had so much success throughout his career as Andre Bishop and the right hand's been a big part of it. I know, and I'm throwing it too much. 
by Andre Bishop. Oh, oh look at that. Come on. Fire him right back with one of his own. Good work by Reggie Stewart. Good work defensively by Stewart. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he threw it out of Yeah, we lost that run. Come Bishop's on. Bishop's commitment to just pure offense is lacking right now. I mean, the guy has to let the hands go. Well, he Let's was go. hurt earlier. You know, there was a little short punch on the inside around before, and nobody really noticed it. But guess what? He did. And I think that's why you're seeing him be a little bit unsure of himself and not throwing the punches that otherwise you'd say, hey, come on, how come you're not? That is why. You know, you go out there, a fighter like this, you were just knocked down in the last round. Now you got to go out there, you got to prove to your opponent, hey, I'm fine. You got to prove to the whole arena, hey, look at me, I'm fine. You also have to prove a lot to yourself, though, don't you? Yeah, but yeah. you have to remember, that's a good question, but you have to remember this fighter has been there before. So just remember, I have dealt with it before. And then you have to beat David Copperfield. A little bit of a magician, a little smoke and mirrors, and Come con on. your opponent. Let him think you're all right. Let him think you even want to fight when really you just want to buy a little time. Stewart's right in the way of that hook to the head. Oh, that had a hurt. Man, this guy's good. You see how effective, you see how much you can control the fight with a jab. That was well done by Stewart. Oh, a big shot, a big shot comes home for him. And he walked right into it. Come on. Scores well to the head with the right hand. There's a taste of the sweet science. You see the skill he has in counterpunching. And you know what he's doing? He's taking his opponent's jab away. And there's a right hand by Andre Bishop. And another. That's a good sign. You see, he comes over the top with that right hand. A real sub. He said he was going to do it from the outside. And now he has. He just got to his man. His opponent had no idea that he was still oh. in range. He thought he was at a safe distance. Now he knows he wasn't. <sighs> He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Andre Bishop. Come on. That's a big hook by Andre Bishop that time. His opponent felt it. Headshot lands was a hook. Stewart's dealing with the aftermath of being rocked, but yet he hasn't changed anything. He's still Man, this guy is good, I have to say. Panic has not set in. That's a good thing, Joe. He still believes he can get this thing done. The way he came here to get it done. Good one, too, by Keep Andre moving. Bishop. Keep moving. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counter punching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, mm -hmm. make him pay. For Andre Bishop, yet another challenge in what has been a long road filled with challenges. Andre Bishop's nose has been bloody. Halfway through this round. Oh. There's no need to be on the inside, Jim. Come on. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Final minute of a round that'll go down in the history books. Come on. the angle that Andre Bishop just gave us right there. His opponent didn't like the result. He just ate an uppercut. Scored well up top. How about that angle by Stewart? That was good stuff. Yeah, that's how you break up pressure. Guys coming at you, you know, trains oh. coming at you. You don't go back on the track because it's going to hit you. You go off the track on the side. Exactly what he did. And that train went right past him. Man, what and the hell is going on here? Ahead. <laughs> yeah. And we are back underway. Another round in a fight that's been very entertaining. Okay. But I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. That's the clean shot with the left hand that he was looking for by Andre Bishop. Andre Bishop utilizing that right hand well. There's no doubt in my mind that it is fully healed. 
Good flush shot upstairs. Come on. A well-placed uppercut by Reggie Stewart. Stewart's left, working well that time. Stewart's lack of defense right now is showing up. His mm. opponent's scoring with the right hand consistently. Yes, he's found the target for that early on, and he's just staying with it. Nothing fancy. Wow, a big flush blow, the left hand by Stewart. Bishops is doing very nicely on the outside here in this fight. Jesus. We just, I just don't know how to play. I'm getting by by the skin of my Targeting teeth. Targeting that straight left hand. Well timed by Andre Bishop. He took a step back, Watch landed the, the counter punch. Exactly what he wanted to do. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Stewart's left, landing well. Rain. Don't let him get at <coughs> Ten seconds yeah. to go in the fourth. Jesus Christ. Solid left hand to the oh, head. Put my... And that does it for this round. Put my mind up it. Back in the corner, we get a close up look. Bishop's cut even looks worse. And it's up to the fighter now, Joe. Oh, his man. attitude not to change. You know, we can look at it and we can say, wow, that cut looks worse. The fans can look at it. Wow, no doubt about it. Affected by that right hand. If I were him, I'd be hanging on a little bit here. A little head knocking with that right hand. Double up your punches. Come on, Dutch. Successfully targeting the head. That was well done by Reggie Stewart. I mean, he's good. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. Come on, keep the distance, keep the distance. That's it, just like that. Focus. He digs in with a left hand to the body. Come on, trying. Good job. It was sudden, it was fast, it was direct by Andre Bishop. You always say punchers are born, Teddy. But what about a guy's ability to withstand big punches? What about a guy's chin? You know, that's an interesting point. Part of it is physical, and you know what it is? It's the neck. That's the shock absorber, but most of it's mental. You have to want to take the punches. You have to will yourself through the punches. This guy has some will. Come on. Come on, kid. Folks. That's a good left hand by Andre Bishop. well up top accurate with a straight left DeAndre Bishop that training really paid off just back to basics with the one two boom boom the left hand coming into play by Stewart two snapping jabs by Andre Bishop Stewart's able to land a good solid left hand With a Come on. Solid uppercut after taking oh, a shot. we are doing menacing punches. They're just not hitting. Back to live action now in what has been a closely contested fight. One of those fights that somebody is still waiting to break through and be a difference maker in. Solid right hand by Stewart. Stewart's applying an old axiom in sports, and that is speed kills. He's got plenty of it in the ring tonight. Yes, he does. He it does, does to his opponent now to find a way to take away that speed, to find something that can offset that speed. And I think that starts with controlling range. Get out of the range where he can control you, where he can use that speed. Scores up top with a left. Mm -hmm. A stabbing right hand Come on. in by Andre Bishop. And now he's targeting Ooh. upstairs. Halfway through round six. Oh. 
Stewart's able to land a nice clean left hand. Good flush shot upstairs. You know, Damn, a lot to like with Andre Bishop, but right now, I don't like the way he looks in terms of his conditioning. No, he looks like he's slowing down a little bit. And you gotta wonder if it's a little mental, too. He got a little discouraged that his opponent is still there. He's still not moving enough. Move. I'm trying to move enough, man. as he's back in the corner. Uh -oh. Now, the easy thing to do is blame the corner, the cut man, for not stopping that. But a little blame has to go to the fighter. It's his responsibility to give that medicine, the coagulants, a chance to work. He went out there and he got hit right on the spot again. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by Stewart. Come on. There's the hook by Andre Bishop. That was well scored. He nearly lifted him off the ground. What an uppercut by Reggie Stewart. Andre Bishop getting back to basics, landing that right hand. Stewart's left now getting into the mix. Come on. Halfway through the seventh round. It's not that easy. I don't play boxing games that much. I just remembered playing this ages ago and loving it. Oh, 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 oh! Hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Able to land the hook to the head. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Carries that punch intended for the head. A stinging uppercut by Reggie Stewart. I know. A knifing left hand by Stewart. Jesus. He went out there in that last round and just executed his game plan beautifully. He won it with ease. Oh. Yeah, he not only has skills, so that's what I like about him. We have a lot of guys that have speed, they have power, but he fundamentally puts it together. Whether or not Andre Bishop's right hand is fully healed, the bottom line is he continues to have success with it here tonight against Reggie Stewart. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Come on. That was a big hit. And now a well-placed hook to the head. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offense. And Bishop is stunned. Oh. He just took a huge punch. Stewart's done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. Bishop's got a real acquired skill here, and that is the ability to pick your boom left I'm hand. I'm out here. Damn. He's won this fight. He's won it. And he goes down for a second time. Does he have enough this time to rise up? I mean, I've been knocked out twice. Knocked down. How am I not getting up yet? And I've cut my thumb. Playing this game, punch, I've actually cut my thumb. Which is just uh, amazing. <laughs> And stay away from this guy. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Reggie Stewart. Last minute of this last round. Let's see some defense. You see how he comes over the top with that left hand. Well placed shot there. 
this point, you have to feel that Andre Bishop's right hand is fully healed. He continues to throw it here in the midst Come of this on. fight against Stewart. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. How about that exchange? This is ridiculous, man. Final bell. And they are underway. Round number one of this much anticipated scheduled eight round bout. Teddy, many times throughout our broadcast we've seen through the years, when Come we on. get a southpaw versus an orthodox fighter, there can be a tendency for clashes ahead. Yes, there can be, and also tripping a little bit. Sometimes they step on each other's feet. And now you see the southpaw pulling the trigger with the straight left. Oh. I hope Reggie Stewart didn't think Andre Bishop wasn't going to throw that right hand. He has no qualms about letting it go. He's had so much success throughout his career as Andre Bishop, and the right hand's been a big part of it. Come on. Turns over that hook upstairs. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Andre Bishop. A harsh headshot by Reggie Stewart. Just like that. Goes up top with a right hand. Teddy, I don't think he's got visions of sticking around too long. He's landed power punches early. Yeah, he wants to make it a quick night's work. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punching. Well, the old times used to say when you're calm in there, when you're controlling there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. Andre Bishop getting to his opponent's head. Nice job by Bishop with the power shot. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Teddy, we've seen both these guys before. This is going to be an odd one, this. Just kind of have the feeling you can that tell that these are going to be the hardest fights yeah, because we're near the end styles. of the it campaign. For one of those special nights. And a flush hook lands by Andre Bishop. Did the hook land? Andre Bishop's right hand scores well. Now hugging on the inside. Yeah, get off me. Nicely timed one, two. Nice strike after catching one by Andre Bishop. And there's a right hand by Andre Bishop. And another, that's a good sign. Trying to time that straight left hand, and he does so with ease. Punches and bunches. Come on. Combination up top. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Andre Bishop. Ooh. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Good plus shot by Stewart. Andre Bishop rocking and shocking his opponent. Come on. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Scored well with that straight left. Indeed, I do. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the word by Andre Bishop. What oh, a power oh. punch by Reggie Stewart. Come on, come on, what am I doing? Keep going. Oh my god. He got demolished like that was a wrecking ball. One punch power ends the evening. I don't think I do it with that. that. Oh, what? He's probably going to mark that down as one of the highlights of his career. From out of nowhere, one single knockout punch. Well, it's one of those punches that actually can be marked down. It's going to last in the annals of this sport. I mean, this matches up with any of the great knockouts ever in this sport. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you next time at the fights.
they've been waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one underway. Zoning in with the overhand left. Scored well up top. Stewart's pre-fight talk included a lot of discussion about the need to utilize the jab. Why so? Well, first of all, he's a good fundamental fighter, and he's not a real physical fighter. So he understands where he has to be good. He knows he doesn't have, you know, great, great physical skills where he could just knock a house over. He knows he has to be good in this area, using that lead hand, the jab. For those of you who question Andre Bishop's broken right hand, Here's a good example of how he feels about it. He's throwing it. The trainer of Andre Bishop was talking about the fact that, hey, this is a different beast fighting in the heavyweight division. He wants him to block some of these big blows. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire him right back with one of his own. Good work by Reggie Stewart. Two guys that can really take each other out. What's the best means of defense? Well, if one guy says to himself, I'm not the power puncher, then he has to be smart. He has to be technically solid in all areas. He's going to have the edge. Up top with the right hand. Keep your distance. Stewart's left. Working well that time. Good step back counter punch there. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Last 10 seconds of this first round. You see how quickly he pulls the trigger on the hook after that block? Here we go. Round two is underway. Side to side. Move your head. Shake it off. to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. I hope Reggie Stewart didn't think Andre Bishop wasn't going to throw that right hand. He has no qualms about letting it go. Gets rid of that body shot. Good shot to the head with that right hand. Look at this, another power punch able to land early on in this fight. He's going for it. Yeah, you wonder if he's got a call waiting outside. Fine fundamentals, good counter punch. Nice mousetrap day, let him in beautifully. He didn't use cheese, he used distance. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Hey, Solid effort by Let's Andre go. Bishop. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. Solid right by Andre Bishop. Solid overhand left. Double up your punches. Final ten seconds of round number two. Brings the hook that time. Well, Bishop can string together a few rounds like that. This is going to be a very easy fight for him. Well, he looks like a confident fighter. All that amateur background is really showing. Good right hand. Bishop's is being smart on the outside. Good head shot by Andre Bishop. That's a damaging blow. Bishop's shown us that if he pulls this trigger, he's hitting that target. His accuracy is great. Well, that's part of his ability. You know, I mean, it's not just his hand speed and that he's technically good. You know, he's got a little bit of pop, but he knows when to throw. See, that's important, Joe. Know when to let the hands go. He knows exactly what time it is. Fine work with the left hand. He landed well by Andre Bishop.
Good flush shot upstairs. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Stewart's right hand scores well that time. An accurate left by Stewart. And there's a right hand by Andre Bishop. And another, that's a good sign. Overhand right can be so effective. Scores up top with a left. Right to the head with that right. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. A stabbing right hand by Andre Bishop. And now he's targeting upstairs. Good action here tonight. Both guys bringing their best, and both guys meeting each other stride for stride, punch for punch. Tough fight to score here as we're back underway. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here tonight? Well, two aspirin and then, go, oh no, actually I would say a little counter punching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. He just drew the punch from his opponent and then a good counter by Andre Bishop. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful. Andre Bishop utilizing that right hand well. There's no doubt in my mind that it is fully healed. Hey. To the head he goes with a left hand. Let's go. He's got confidence he can crack and he just did there. And he had the distance, Joe, the height that he wanted to set up that punch. How about that bombs away to the head by Andre Bishop? Come on, punch, punch, punch. That's it. Oh, King Stewart's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. Solid right by Andre Bishop. You need to keep that head moving. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Stewart's so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landing. What impact from that uppercut by Andre Bishop. Stewart's failure to get away from his opponent's right hand is really the beautiful game plan there. Out from range and into the power. Just the way he and his trainer drew it up on the chalkboard. Very good, productive round from Andre Bishop. He can build off of that. Yes, he can. And he will build off of it because you can see his confidence is mounting round by round. Stewart's left, landing well. How about that? A huge right hand lands from Andre Bishop. Wow, a big punch just crashes home on Andre Bishop. The only good thing is he's been here before. With all that amateur experience, he has been hurt before. He knows how to behave. Commits to the overhand right, and it serves. And all of a sudden, the tables turn. Reggie Stewart's rocked. What's good for you is good for him. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. So in this kind of situation, it's kind of like a wounded animal. Yeah, you could go after, but you better be careful because he'll strike out when you don't expect it. Well-targeted left hand by Stewart. And he nails him with a headshot. Well done by Reggie Stewart. A little head hunting. Good, solid right hand lands. Scores with the combo to the head. Left, right, left, right. Come on, baby. How about that left hand? Bishop's up on the scorecards here. He's got to be up on the scorecards, but he is getting really pushed here. Yeah, he is. You know, this is a development fight. This is a fight where you come out of it and you get better. That doesn't happen all the time. Sometimes you just get another W. He is learning. Nice work, the left hand to the head. Up, up. 
Andre Bishop has always had a knack for that. I love the way Andre will look for that uppercut and then deliver it. Well-targeted counterpunch by Andre Bishop. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Okay. The start of the sixth round. See, that's what the corner should do for Andre Bishop. You send him out there as a fresher, better fighter. He looks fine here to start this round. At this point, you have to feel that Andre Bishop's right hand is fully healed. He continues to throw it here in the midst of this fight against Stewart. A well-placed left hand up top. Turns over that hook, and he does damage upstairs. So dangerous with that left hook to the body. And this time he adds the right hand on the back end. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Oh, what a power punch by Reggie Stewart. He has walked through bullets, bazookas, and bombs, and he's still standing in there tonight, Teddy. Yeah, this is a testament not just to the physical makeup. I know a lot of people at home are going to say, wow, what kind of bone does he have inside that chin? But it's his mind, too. He's making a choice, just like you do in life and other things. He's making a choice to deal with this. A lot of guys would have given in already. And that has some bite to it, that right hand by Andre Bishop. Carissi's known for really pushing Andre Bishop very hard during training camp. But right now, we're not seeing the results. He seems to be fading a bit. Yeah, you start to wonder whether or not Andre Bishop has gotten a little full of himself, you know, breaking the rules a little bit, maybe getting a little cocky. And maybe, you know, Gus sees him in the gym, but he doesn't see him 24-7. Maybe Andre not living the right way. Whether or not Andre Bishop's right hand is fully healed, the bottom line is he continues to have... He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. All the eyes are on him to start. That's a huge left he just scored with. I've been muted this whole time, and us. Teddy, I think he's going to go down. I think he's going to go down after getting tackled. There it is! A sharp knife... Throw in the towel. God damn it. No, oh, no, no, no. I think, what do you think of Andre Bishop as a challenger? I think you're an idiot for asking me that question. You get paid to do Bishops. Come on. Let's see if we can knock him out. Gonna knock him out like in the right. Everybody's been talking about it, so he's so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. Targeting that overhand left. The trainer of Andre Bishop was talking about the fact that, hey, this is a different beast fighting in the heavyweight division. He wants him to block some of these big blows. For those of you who question Andre Bishop's broken right hand, here's a good example of how he feels about it. He's throwing it. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Stewart's cut is on the cheek, and you can see that it's bothering him a bit right now. That's something we'll keep our eye on. Bishop's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. Halfway through round number one. Come on, man. Smart fighter, and in doing so, the smart thing to do for him would be to utilize his jab. He's got a good one. Yeah, and he's confident with it. See, it's one thing having a good one. There aren't many people out there are good at certain things, but they don't have the confidence. They don't know it. He knows that he's good with it. That's the key. <laughs> That's a fierce left hand that landed by Stewart. Man, that was Locks two that big hands, shot. sir. Bishop's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Good, solid uppercut lands flush by Reggie Stewart. Well done there. I think 
Bishop scored really well there. He just damaged his opponent with that power shot upstairs. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Andre Bishop. I'm sorry, but what the hell is going on here? We're just standing and punching. So the early action here in this fight should reveal an edge. Stewart's got speed. He can move. Oh. Well, they say speed kills. He better just be careful. He doesn't have an accident. He doesn't get reckless with that speed. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Andre Bishop. Come on. Keep looking at Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Strange way now it could create an offensive opportunity. Stewart's opponent is drawn to that cut he opened up, but it now could force him to be reckless coming in. Uh, you're exactly right, Joe. You know, if you're the one cut, you have a job to do. You don't have the responsibility. You know, don't let that throw you off. You know, stay to your game plan. But if you cause the cut, you have something that's a responsibility. Don't yeah, go we've got to go for that cut. Don't just start going for broke. And that's exactly what he's doing. Reggie Stewart didn't think Andre Bishop wasn't going to throw that right hand. He has no qualms about letting it go. Nice strike after catching one by Andre Bishop. Oh. <laughs> Protecting his head well with his guard. There's no need to be on the inside. Tim. A on, solid uppercut by Andre Bishop. Firing off the uppercuts. Great exchange. Come on. And that is not what his opponent really wants. He's backed up against the ropes. Good clean shot. Returning fire. Well done by Reggie Stewart. Bishop's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. That's great Come on. stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Andre Bishop. Oh. He's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Stewart's able to land a good, solid left hand. Man, has he got cuts on both sides of the cheek? So a fresh round is underway. But is it a fresh fighter? Stewart's corner is hoping so. Based on what we saw at the end of the last round, who knows? Well, his corner should also be hoping that his opponent across the way doesn't come out here like the executioner to get this over with. Because if he does, I think it's over. Well, his opponent is opening up come on. coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counterpunching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. Let's get him into corner again. Come on. I'm to roll. Come on, cover up. Good flush, straight left hand. Good fighting, snapping shot by Stewart. Is that oh, my blood or his stuff. blood? Fire on right my, on blood my sword. Good work by Andre Bishop. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. And there's a right hand by Andre Bishop, and another. That's a good sign. Right on the mark with the hook up top. Come on, come on, come on. Andre Bishop staying away from trouble. He's out there on the outside. Stewart's rocked by a huge hook to the head. Come on. That's a forceful two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. Flush right hand to the head. What a crushing blow up top he just landed. That's why you don't pull straight back. How about a return to sender with the left My hand? My God. Scored well up top. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. This is getting annoying. I think it's his blood on my shorts, you know? That's exactly what you need to do, Andre. Keep moving, keep jamming. Oh, come on. Here we go with the fourth round. Good block by Andre Bishop that time. He'd like to see more of that. Take a step back, then the counter punch. 
by Stewart. Very similar to what you see Floyd Mayweather do. You know, make a miss, pull that shoulder back, and then come right back with the counter. Right to the belt line. Stewart's now feeling the effects, Teddy, of having his opponent punch right through that guard. Well, he should feel the effects. I mean, look, Joe, it's kind of like standing out in a rainstorm with an umbrella, and all of a sudden the wind's coming, and the rain's coming from the side, and you're standing there under Came the umbrella on the saying, why am I getting wet? Well, you're standing there covering up. The punches are coming from the side. They're coming from all angles. You're going to get wet. You're not always protected. Andre Bishop utilizing that right hand well. There's no this guy's getting them in now. Halfway through round number four. Jump on. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Bishop's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Stewart's able to land a nice, clean left hand. This is why the fans love this game when it's at its absolute best. Come on, this man. round can't get any better, yet they're trying to make it better. It's wearing us out. Imagine what they feel like. Stewart's objective is to land that jab, and he did so right there. Beat him to the punch. He's annoying me now, this guy. Upstairs. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Andre Bishop's combination punching is working well here. Yeah, but I need you to know, knock Bishop's him out. Never mind the combinations. I don't think Bishop has reacted well to it. He's fading a bit. Yeah, he's got his mouth open a little bit. There's two problems there. One, you're telling your opponent, I'm tired. The other is you have your mouth open. That's a move you can get a broken jaw. <laughs> don't get careless. <laughs> don't get careless. Do not fight his fight. You gotta watch the water in the corner. Come on. Okay, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Round number five has arrived. Andre Bishop's out there for another round in a fight that he's been in complete control of so far. Scores well to the head with the right hand. At this point, you have to feel that Andre Bishop's right hand is fully healed. He continues to throw it here in the midst of this fight against Stewart. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Andre Bishop. Bishop's very much being tested here, even though he's likely up on the scorecards. He's getting a real test. Yeah, Joe, a test that will serve him in the future. If he goes on to win this fight, which I think he will, he's going to take what he learned here today, what he gained here today, and it's going to serve him as he moves forward in his career. What impact with that uppercut by Reggie Stewart. Locks one and then takes the bazooka. Watch Halfway the into round number five here. Takes one but gets one. Good work by Andre Bishop. Finish with the hook. Finish with the hook. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Bishop's doing well here with that two punch combination. I got him. I've got him. Come on. And now he's going to have to find a way to clinch. He needs time to recover. Oh, come on. There is no doubt that Andre Bishop's right hand is perfectly fine. An impressive knockout victory with that right mitt. He takes care of Reggie. Oh, my God. Isaac, which Bishop brother hits harder? Which bishop brother hits harder? That's your question? I get these people. Huh. Well, neither one of them can punch like me. I can guarantee you that. But between the two of them? Well, I'd say little Andre hits harder. I mean, the jailbird's washed up now. He was a genuine contender. But the big baby. Well, the big baby has always been a pretender. Oh. Okay, guys, that's going to be it for Fight Night Part 5. And uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. If you are, please give a like, subscribe, and tune in for more Fight Night.